So this stuff here is poisoned oak and this is something you don't want to get onto your skin. I haven't had the experience yet, I hope I'm going to get it today. The, uh, I've been reading a lot about it, in fact uh, when I was trying to uh, discover what was the most dangerous thing around here, is it rattlesnakes or is it cougars uh, or what is it, and uh, it was, most people seem to think that it's poisoned oak. I don't know if you saw that, there was a little lizard there <laughs> in, in, in the poisoned oak. Um, now the reaction uh, depends on the person, uh, one, uh, about a third of people that have no reaction to it at all. Other people develop an reaction as they get older. Normally with um, things uh, you can develop a sort of immunity to it, but it seems to work uh, uh, in opposite as far as this is concerned. As I've got lots of allergies, I'm not going to even try it, touching it or doing anything with it at all. Now this is very early in the season, so um, it's, uh, it's January. So it's not going to, uh, uh, it's not very, uh, not very developed yet. Uh, but apparently later it develops other types of colours, such as uh, yellow and red and other things. Now there's a variety of cures I've heard about. Um, none of them seem to be based on what I've read, because I try to read a lot, trying to see what problems I could develop on the trail. Uh, but um, it, 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 one, one problem, one, one natural cure is a mugwort. Uh, which grows quite close apparently and uh, this must have something within it which uh, has a um, reaction um, to the the oil so this is oil that comes out and if you get it on your skin if you can actually wash yourself in soap and water beforehand cold water it'll do and also if it's a bit later once you've got the oil off apparently if you put your the affected area under very hot water as hot as you can stand it um it takes away the uh, the pain for a number of hours. Of course the hot water is going to hurt you and opening the pores isn't going to do you much good either but I mean uh, uh, the, the reaction is due to um, histamines in the skin I think or something like that. I'm not a doctor uh, but uh, I have tried to find out as much as I can about the, about the, about the stuff which is there. Now this is the foothills above Santa Barbara and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a quick view here as I like to do of the, uh, I've got the islands out there and the Pacific Ocean and coming around here, now Santa Barbara the city is mainly, mainly in that direction so it's in like a, a southwesterly direction I'd say for me or south southwesterly really and uh, coming around here we've got uh, evidence of the, the fire uh, which happened here couple of years ago and um, we see this tree here blackened by the flames although there's another tree blackened by the flames although the the, the, uh, the plants have started to repopulate uh, the area we can see how the for example the, the, the hills up there compared to the grass further 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 down the difference and also you can see in places where the, the fire didn't touch um, I think that what we're looking at on the, uh, the other side of the valley, um, or the canyon I should say, uh, that is, I, th I don't think it touched there, although I'm, I'm, I'm not certain. But as you can see the gophers have uh, made their way back and I saw several already this morning. <laughs> 